Good morning traders, Russell Sandy Ford here for your morning market rant for easy markets. Well, at the moment I'm really, really liking what I can see in the markets. For mine, it's starting to really look a little bit uh, clearer across the board that we might get uh, some positive news out of this US tax reform story before the uh, the year end. Now, I was just watching the close in the US being in here super early. And uh, the Dow Jones took out 24,000, 24 and change record levels. Now, that can be seen, and I'm certainly seeing that as a bit of a precursor that uh, the US equities market is not ready to st stall or come back just yet. And that is kind of a, a good indicator that um, this US tax reform story might be getting the green light. Now, I'm not just saying that because I see a Dow chart hitting 24,000 odd. I'm saying that because there, there is progress and development overnight. And Senator McCain, uh, we all remember John McCain, I'm sure. He is uh, voting in relation to, uh, you know, on the positive side for this US tax reform story. This is huge. I'm really, really, really seeing a lot of trades at the moment that are going to flow from this story. Now, where and what are they? The the dollar yen, for example. I'll just jump away from the cable for a moment. The dollar yen has come alive, not ridiculously. Now, why I make that point? It's a 12.55, 12.57 as we speak. Uh, for mine, that means to me, yes, it's had a bit of a bull run from earlier this week, but that has not fully priced in a U.S. tax reform uh, green light. So we'll be at 115 on dollar yen if that story is going the way I think it's going. So uh, I'm certainly long and strong on dollar yen, like I said, guys, to a target of 115. That also means the euro is dreaming at 119, 119.10. It should be turning south, uh, regardless of any eurozone data. The US dollar driving that pair back down to, to 117 is extremely likely. Again, you can see what I'm saying playing out in a lot of key pairs. Dollar CAD, for example, basically a whisker under that 129 level. Look at this pair. It moves when it moves. And look at it from 126.70, it's at 29. And that's just a precursor. That'll be at 130.5 or 131 uh, very soon. Uh, also with a bit of a caveat on that oil move. That we've seen this week. Now, carrying on with my same little rant here about the US dollar um, strength is the same reason why gold has fallen out of bed this week. If you guys had actually watched and listened, of course, to that uh, morning video I did yesterday, I mentioned that we're going to see gold sub 1270. We only just got down there. You can see it on the chart at 1270 and a half yesterday. But guys, that's a pretty sharp move considering it was only uh, Monday. You know, we're at 1298.99. So again, a precursor. The gold market is certainly not waiting to price in a little bit of possibility or a lot of possibility on the US tax reform story. Now, there's action everywhere. For mine, I just need to point out the sterling I've been going on about for two weeks, telling everyone that'll listen that the long sterling trade is the trade that will pay in December. Um... Now, Sterling Aussie, I've been talking to a lot of my good clients about the last two days getting long Sterling Aussie. On the weekly chart, yesterday uh, it was at 76.50 or thereabouts when I was going on about this maybe moving to 183. I maintained that target on, on, on Sterling Aussie of 183. I know it's a big target, it's at 178.80 now, but I'm confident that this can rip higher and the divergence there will play out against the Aussie dollar. Now, to give that comment a bit of weight, look at the sterling yen. Let me jump to a four hour, guys. That is out of control. 530 odd pips. Um, I got an alert this morning, uh, very early today, uh, that it's moved about, you know, 520, 540 off those lows from Monday. Ridiculous moves moving from 46.47, that's 146, up to where we are bid at the moment, 152.30. It does not look like stopping. Now, part of that is what I was going on about yesterday with the North Korean scenario becoming a bit of a diplomatic, I won't say war of words, but just 
China's in there saying diplomatic things. The US are trying to push the diplomatic resolution and North Korea are just slowly, slowly, slowly poking the bear. Whilst that story does not get more uh, aggressive or flare up, the yen um, won't need to be bought up as a safe haven. Gold won't need to be bought up as a safe haven. So what does that mean for sterling yen? The handbrake is off and this can this can really move. I've got no idea where it will stop. Probably something in the region of 161 or 162. So a big trade there for those of you looking to avoid the US dollar. Look at the sterling Aussie and consider the sterling yen if you're brave enough to buy it after a big move already. Today it is a touch quiet in the Asian session ahead guys, but as always it's Friday. So that normally means expect a Bitcoin rally running through your weekend. But don't forget we do have Canadian data later tonight if you're still trading that US session. Uh, we already looked at dollar CAD. There's no point going back to that. For mine, you will see potentially in Asia today the trade that pays should be dollar yen punching to 113 and or more. I think you'll find it's at 1330, 1350. By the end of this week on this developing US tax reform story. As always, if you guys need a hand or want a full market update on Bitcoin, indices, commodities, or FX, just call us here at Easy Markets on the dealing desk and we will run you through it. Have a great trading day.